the Vanderdecken of Tapan Z. It is Saturday night. The swell of the Hudson lazily heaves against the shores of Tapan Z, the cliff above Terrytown, where the white lady cries on winter nights is pale in starlight, and crickets chirp in the boscage. It is so still that the lap of oars can be heard coming across the water at least a mile away. Some small boat, evidently, but of heavy build, for it takes a vigorous hand to propel it. And now there is a grinding of oars on thole pins. Strange that it is not yet seen, for the sound is near. Look, is that a shadow crossing that wrinkle of starlight in the water? The oars have stopped, and there is no wind to make that sound of a sigh. Ho, oh, Rambout Van Dam, is it you? Are you still expiating your oath to pull from Kakiet to Spoyton Devil before the dawn of Sabbath, if it takes you a month of Sundays? Better for you had you passed the night with your roistering friends at Kakiet, or started homeward earlier, for Sabbath-breaking is no sin now, and you, poor ghost, will find little sympathy for your plight. Grant that your month of Sundays, or your cycle of months of Sundays, be soon up, for it is sad to be reminded that we may be punished for offenses many years forgotten. When the sun is high tomorrow, a score of barges will vex the sea of Tappan, each crowded with men and maids from New Amsterdam, jigging to profane music and refreshing themselves with such liquors as you, Rambout, never even smelled. Be thankful for that much. If your shade sits blinking at them from the wooded buttresses of the Palisades, you must repine indeed at the hardness of your fate.